What's up, everybody? This is a 2020 Topps Heritage Baseball. Pick your teams number one. Here are your teams. Yeah, so basically, in inner case, it's just so uh, sometimes companies will make it where, let's say, for this case, for example, let's say there is this is the master case and it contains one six box case here and one six box case here. So they're just coming from the same master case. But a lot of times we'll split, split it up just to make it kind of cost effective for everybody. It's mostly used in upper deck, hockey. Tops does it sometimes and Panini does it sometimes. But sometimes people think, oh, you know, if I hit number one, that means I can't hit number two or vice versa. I don't really buy into all that, but that's why I usually give the notice out. This is a long break, everybody, but it is the 2020 Topps Heritage Baseball. We have boxes available in our store, and Jason will be live on Instagram tonight, if all goes well, on Instagram. Hopefully, our feed is fixed. It wasn't fixed Friday, so, or Saturday, so what's today, Wednesday, so maybe it's fixed by now. If not, he'll be on the Jaspi Sermos Instagram. Yeah, just in time, man. So I'm going to go pack by pack um, to not miss any of the variations. They should have them on the back of each card, so. So I'm excited. 1971 Topps design mirrored on this 2020 Topps Heritage. The black border, so might be tricky for grain sometimes, but they look sharp. Insert there, Willie Mays. Let's see if there's an example. Yeah, he's he's here. I think he's. Unpacking some of the uh, products we got in today. I just want to make sure I get all the short prints top loaded. Um, remember, all cards do ship, so if for whatever reason I don't um, catch one, the shipping team will be shipping it. trying to see on the back of the card where the back of the card would be. The uh, the short print name. I guess I'll figure it out. I don't see it.
flashbacks. We'll randomize all those in one lot at the end of the break. So it's going to be right above the player photo, the short print name. So right, it'd be right above the Rockies hat, Mariners hat there. Okay. Thank you, Carport Connection. Marcakis, just, what did he say last week? The Astros deserve beating? That was kind of, kind of extreme. All these inserts will be randomized as well, left and right. Then and nows. Uh, probably in a few hours. I'd say probably two and a half hours or so. Three hours. The Panini one break. Boston Red Sox. That's going out to Jeffrey S. Had an awesome year last year. Red Sox will need him to do well this year. Now that the best player's gone. We got a Chrome Refractor Walker Bueller. That one's numbered one ninety one of five seventy one. Stephen Olson, this these heritage cards have tremendous value on the secondary market.
lend it to that. Yeah, it's all in the short prints, the money. Not just the autos and this stuff. Short prints, the red ink autographs go for a ton. Yep, that's a nice one. Action short print, Pete Alonzo. That's for the Mets. That's going out to Kevin S. Yeah, it's not all about the hits, man. Some people like collecting base still. in the Super Baseball Box Hopper. Remember, these sometimes have multiple teams on them, so those will be randomized as well. It is Fernando Tatis Jr. Padres is going out to John. Oh, that, yeah, maybe wh that's why. Yeah, this is Arguably the most popular baseball set that people like to collect. Heritage. Heritage. You know, obviously other than like Series 1 and stuff. But yeah, I mean, definitely isn't like the most jam-packed, entertaining break, but... Trust me, some of these cards go for a lot. Once I have um, Joe here, he can go through, or maybe I'll get someone here to go through the short prints for me. Go through the backs of the cards. We got an original 1971 card here. to do is once I finish the pack, you just go through the uh, go through the backs of the cards and right above the player's hat will be the short print thing. So you just go through, most of them okay. won't have them, but like here's an example. I already went through all these. See so it'll say, it'll say something yeah, about yeah. this head. All right. So I'll open them and then I'll pass them on. Are these top loaded? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You just gotta go through them. Who packed my pack? So I'm gonna turn this first. And I mean, it depends on which one. You got the base short print, the French text, the error, the missing signature, the silver team name. There's a Shohei Otani. 440 of 999. Randy has the Angels, gets the Showtime. Um, you have the silver team name, the action image, the throwback, and the nickname. I only had one in the first box, that action image. <laughs> Flashbacks, Roberto's arm still golden at age 37. And it's the 
1971 design. So. Steve Garvey, rookie year. Oh, uh, yeah. Baker Baylor, high number. 71 had high numbers. Not a great year, huh? I mean, Steve Garvey's all right, but... Well, he was hobby hot. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. In the 80s. And the Dodgers were winning everything. Didn't he play for the Padres for a while, too? Yeah, he ended up with the Padres. Jack Flaherty. Yeah, I'm glad that they put the short print name on the card instead of having to look at the code. Yeah. I commend Tops. Thanks to that. Jeremy. Jeremy at Tops is yeah. the one that came up with that. Genius. Nobel Peace Prize coming. Yeah. Well, they were listening to their... <coughs> their breakers. Yeah. Their breakers. But hey... Yeah, I heard a Heritage Jumbo talked about. That'd be awesome. I'd like that. Ooh, look at that. Disney's East Coast flagship starts show, 1971. Ooh. Those will all be randomized, the non-sport cards at the end. All cards ship, so please give us a few extra days on this one. There's a lot of cards. Cole Calhoun's still in the Angels in this one. But luckily, the other release today, Panini 1, is only one card per box, so it shouldn't be too backed up. We got a Buster Posey Clubhouse Collection Relic. That's going out to the San Francisco Giants, Kevin S. Yeah, so he's looking through all the short print on the back, so we'll let you know if we see one. That one. And we have one original 1971 card inside this pack, so we'll see really? what that is, yeah. I kind of like when they do that. I don't think they're anything crazy, but you never know. Next year. It's the best rookie out of 1972. Mm -hmm. There's a Candlestick Park insert. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Jorge Soler led the NL in, uh, or the AL in home runs last year. I didn't know that. That was a trivia question there. Tops Conference. And, uh, Carlton Fisk in 1972? Hmm. Trying to think of all of the sure. rookies. There's Luis Castillo. No short prints yet? No. That's why they're called short prints. Probably one every Look at this. Mitch Garver, Mitch Garver, back to back. Wow. Is that a color variation? No. Alright, the original, there's none in there. The original 1971 card. These are always kind of uh, hard to open, so... Joe's going to have an easy day doing all the artwork. Yeah. We got a Bill Lee 50th anniversary. It was Spaceman. Yeah, I'm going to box cut it next time. Although this one went pretty well. Wait, his nickname is Spaceman? Yeah. Why is that? He's an oddball. Spaceman means he's out there. Up there and out there. Everyone, they still had those quasi hippies, you know. It was one of those Bill Walton, that's the kind of guy. Bill Walton, I like that. Talking about crazy stuff. Yeah. I thought it like he went to 
like he had admiration to go to space or something. No. We got Andrew Miller. That's got to be something, right? It's white. And then a purple Pete Alonso. That is not numbered. What's the white border? What's... That keyboard's all the way down there. Patty slipped it. This must be the hot box. Luke... Uh, Lucas Giolito. Carlos Correa. I'm going to go through them all at the end of the break, probably for the short prints. There's an insert there. There's a Tatis purple. Chris Paddock purple. I thought they used to be um, like Toys R Us exclusive or something. Another Correa. Gary retired from the job. Purple Acuna. We got a hot box here. Purple hot box. Hot box. I'm going for Death Game and saw hot boxes once. I don't know if you can say that. Xander Bogart's purple. Deck game. We're trying to get upper deck allocation. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think upper deck's watching. Oh, found one. I'll be here by it. Action. Cubs is going out to Max. Gets the Javi Baez, who was, according to MLB presentation at the Tops Conference, I think the number five best selling yeah, jersey. Yeah, best selling jersey. All I was shocked. They must buy a lot of jerseys in Chi Town. I think they do. Because Chris Bryant, I think, was up there. There's a Mancini. Still. Cool guy, Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant was cool. Hobby Hot. One time. Still. Yeah, I think he's still lukewarm. Hobby lukewarm. Well, once the Cubs get in first place this year. Well, he's on the training block, but the rumor is, so I don't know. There's another Tatis. Yeah, trying to learn Bundesliga? the Bundesliga? Is this the Bundesliga? <laughs> no, that's German. Okay. Uh, there's Mikey Stremski. Tops was pushing the Bundesliga soccer. But really, they have a lot of really great players in that. Well, there's this new kid who's supposed to be really good. Yeah. His first card is... Actually, they, he gave, they gave us his first card. So we're going to be doing a lot of that. Soccer. This is uh, Champions League, I believe, which they also have the license for. Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. They said it's the biggest event in the world. Bigger than the Super Bowl. Mikey Stremski. Just didn't feel the same. So the best clubs from the English League, the German League, and the Spanish League come together and play in a tournament. There's Albert Bubo's relic. That relic for the Los Angeles Angels, Randy. Joe's probably a fan of the Bundesliga. Vlad Jr. I, I just learned how to a, pronounce that. He's an English Premier League guy. Oh, Premier League, huh? Which I, I'm a Premier League guy. I like Chelsea. Chelsea? Yeah. I like, uh, I like the Danish striker from Denmark. Ooh. Christian Eriksen. There's Juan Soda, purple. J. 
J.D. Davis. There's Gavin Locks, Dustin May. Found one. Silver. Ooh. Nice. Silver team name. Christian Yalich. See, the Brewers are in silver right there. That's going out to Milwaukee. And that is going out to Daniel W. I'm sure someone could pull up the odds. I'm not sure. I don't see the odds on the silver team name. Park, there's Cody Ballinger, purple. Remember, these cards are do have black borders, so it's not going to be like perfect. There's the white on them, as I'm noticing. But I guess that was probably common with the 1971 set. In the old days, you had to do it if you were going to buy cards from 71. You always had to put them in with a stack of 71s because people used the magic markers because they were so oh bad. God, to code them? Yeah. That's so, crazy. So just, and it would bleed. Josh Bell. It was crazy. Wow. You know, that's back in the, in the 80s when the, all the 70s stuff was really hot. Hot, yeah. Drawing marker on the cards, I couldn't even think about doing that. Yeah. Lucas Giolito to 9.99. Oh, he plays for Milan now? I didn't know that. Albert Pujols, that shows how much of a fan I am. What's up, Cardboard Lifer? I like the Scottish League soccer myself. I never watched it. Charlie Morton. Wow, it must be Teddy. Matt Olsen. Teddy, Teddy must be close by. Teddy would like doing this break. Yeah. Teddy, want a break? Sure. Oh, nice. Juddy says hello to Mike. Juddy. Wow, blast from the past, buddy. There's the Peter Lonzo here the with Junior. Now you can sort through the short prints. If you sure. Oh, look at this. Wow. That's the Opeachy back. See that? Sure. Juddy will know that. I don't see an Opeachy back variation. That's the Opeachy back, though. Okay. Oh yeah, in the front, life they call it they call it French text. French text, it's Opeachy okay. back. That's Seth Lugo. That's for the Metropolitan. So the seventy one Opeachies were hobby hot, more hot than the seventy one US. Because they had the little picture on the back. And they were different. They were awesome. Right. I'm gonna top load this. And I'm gonna go back to doing what I was doing. Okay. Maybe give a closer to Teddy on what to look for and stuff. So, oops. There's Jordan Alvarez. So basically, that's a rookie too. We go through box right hopper right here. It's gonna have a word. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Upper deck has it. Yeah. Upper deck has a license for LPG. Oh here. Yeah, tops. Tops used to. What province was LPG headquartered? That's a good trivia question. Quebec? See? I don't even know that's a province. Action. Okay, there's, there's a word over there. So you and there's one, one every okay. hundred so And you just give it to me and then I'll show yeah. it and then just leave a top load. These are done and then I'm just putting them in here. Teddy, get some FaceTime. Welcome, Teddy. Hey, hey, hey. I'm Come. not going to be able to give the lessons that uh, Big Boss just did, but. And the trivia. The old All Star rookie with a yeah. Top. Yeah, this is the 1971 tops design. So every year they'll 
the switch off so they'll go, you know, this year's 1971, next year'll be 1972, 1973. So they go in chronological order. So I can't wait until they get to like 2000. That would be. That's your. That's your. Uh, yeah. That would be house. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm an 80, 82 guy. Yeah. So that's in 10 years. So when you're breaking 2030 heritage, I'm on still alive. Yeah. Channel. <laughs> if you're still alive. Tatis Jr. That is? Tatis. Blue Jays. Uh, not Blue Jays. Padres is John. That is Teddy here. Right standing next to me. What's up? What's up? Who's that? Um, Aaron Salinas. Hey, what's up, Aaron? Crazy things go on in, in the Mosa while we were gone? Um, I saw two ladies fight in the laundromat in San Pedro. Um, I almost saw a really bad accident on the 110. The car went over the divider. You saw it? Yeah. I didn't flip. It just, uh, but no, nothing. Other than that? Last night I went downtown, had a few beers oh. at the Omni Hotel. I only uh, hang out at the Omni Hotel Bar. That's where the action is. By the Staples Center? Yeah, right there, like a yeah. video block away. So it was busy last night, huh? No, I went late. I went after class. My uh, cousin was in town. Nice. I know, that's fancy there. There's a Devers Relic. Had the auto earlier. Clubhouse Devers. Collection. Best Red Sox player right now, right? Well, I mean, there's Jeff Ben Fendi and Bogarts. Yeah. Best hitting. That's he's actually right. pretty good defensively, too, Devers. He, he, really? He was a little shaky when he first came up. Yeah. I think his nickname is Scoops because he likes ice cream a lot. Get a dulces. Remember, uh, what was the guy's name? Abreu. When he was on the Yankees? Um, he had some dope. Bobby nickname. Abreu? The one from the Phillies. Yeah, Bobby Abreu. Yeah. He was on the Angels, too. Um, dopey John Sterling had like a, uh, a you know, home run call for him. Yeah. It was like, because I guess he likes sweets a lot. <laughs> <clears throat> and it was like, get a dulces or something about dulces. I'm going to be going to San Francisco in March. Was what an autograph? Two nights. Which one? The Devers was a relic. Sorry. Just the clubhouse collection on the Devers. You're going where? I'm going to San Francisco for a few nights. Oh. Like three nights. I like San Francisco. It's just uh, cold. I haven't been since I was little. You're going to go to Abbey Road or whatever it is? <laughs> I don't know. I have no what idea. is it? Uh, I can go through the, the last few stacks. I don't think it's still a thing. I don't think it'd be in the same box as a relic, though, right? But I'll double check. Matt Adams is still in the majors, yeah. I didn't know Nick Markakis was still a thing until he said he wants the. He wants the. Nick Markakis was almost the MVP two years ago. Of the that kind of looks league. like an auto, but it's not. What's that? Nick Markakis was like second or third in the voting for National League MVP two years ago. Really? Yeah, he had a monster season. I love this dude. Daniel Murphy? I don't know what it is. He's man. kind of a baller. Beautiful swing. 
I don't see any blue ink here. You go through the front, see if any. Any what? Any blue ink? Yeah, yeah no, like a real auto. That would definitely pop for me. I'm not yeah. seeing. Why did somebody say they thought fish or something? Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna go again. Okay. Teddy will look through these again. But it usually wouldn't be in the same box as the relic, because it's usually one auto or relic. And we have the Devers in this one. You say it would, it would be blue ink for sure? Or would it, yeah. I think it would jump off to me. Yeah, it's just because the other ones have the, the fake autos, so facsimile. Would there be a uh, serial number on the back or something? No. It would say, like, top certified auto. They got Pepsi Max in England? That's what I mean. Ed Herman, 1971, original. Herman. Beijing Mr. Herman. Looks like, hey, get a little OJT, seeing how the brakes are going. Checking out the... OJT. OJT. Player hating the green. That's a... OJ Simpson? OJT. That's an acronym. Is that the right word? Yeah, Ac acronym. Acronym? I don't know what it means. That's so. a big word, boy. That's a, really that's a college word. I don't I don't get it. So. No, no. Okay. I didn't go to college. So. I didn't go to high school, so you were one step ahead of me. <laughs> I hardly went to high school. So I dropped out of high school to sell baseball cards. Same here. I said, hey, I want to do this the rest of my life. How does Rowdy tell us have such a fat face? Why are you saying that? No, his face is... That's an awesome photo right there. You got that palm tree. Yeah, that there. is. Nice. That's, that's like the old school. Tops photos. Um, is it OJT something that you could say on air? What's that? Maybe. Anything know. OJT I can say on the air? On the job training. Uh, so Teddy's training. Uh, he he's in training. You get a bump. You get a different wage, Nick, during this yeah process. Overtime. Yeah. Well, you know, because you're training somebody, you should have a different uh, pay scale. OJT. Sharing your Can wisdom. Can it be OTJT? Or else it's just on job training. I guess that makes sense too. Error. Ooh, we got an error short print here. Uh oh. Teddy just found in this box. Ooh. So now when you're doing those personal boxes, you'll look in the back and you know exactly it's what to Vlad look for. It's Vlad Guerrero we'll Jr. Error. Yeah. Pop, pop product. Error. Wow. Blue Jays. John. Says, what do you mean error? Error is only if it's corrected. Otherwise, it's a variation. It says error? Wow. That means they corrected it. Maybe one no, is without... No, error is one of the short prints that they make on purpose. It's a it's a purposeful error. Yeah, but you can't use the word error. Yeah, error it, has to it be corrected. It doesn't make sense. No, error doesn't And then the one with the, with the less quantity, whether it's error or corrected, becomes the error. Is that... I think so. Yeah. What's up, Johnny Cannon? What's up, Josh X Fine? You know, like in 71, they might have corrected cards. We have another case of Heritage after this, and then we have um, Panini won the rest of the night, pretty much. Anything else that fills? <clears throat> so, another million card uh, break next year, Nick. Uh, I don't know if they announced that yet. Well, there has to be. <laughs> We're announcing it right here. Well, we want them to do another main card break. It's not. It's not that Max they Muncy will. plays second base. It's not that they anyway. will. That's kind of funny that they put both positions. Maybe so, we should suggest two main card break. Make people work double, double time. Imagine opening two main cards. Well, we could do thirty-six cases. Like somebody did thirty-six people. cases. Yeah, I didn't even know it was an option. I would have done it. Wow, what a beast! How many were there? Cases. 
A we single, a single um, breaker. Nineteen breakers at the tops of a million cards. No, but the guy who did the thirty-six. Um, he had four breakers. Oh, I was gonna say if he did it himself. He did. He was hanging from there. He would be uh, suspect. That's a lot of work. Looking forward at blue ink here. Just have the Devers auto so far. Pilar, I always get mess, messed up with the guy who is on MLB Network. I think that's Millar? Kevin Millar. I always think that guy's in the... He's getting old, Millar. I, yeah. I noticed the other day, looking at his face, he finally looks like he's getting old. Yeah. It's cool. Cowboy up. Yeah, he's... I mean, he's good in small doses, I think. What do you mean? As like a... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't like, want to listen to like a whole show. Like a whole hour is kind of tough, but like... Like a clip or something. Funny. And the other guy is kind of a cornball on that show. Chris Rose, yeah. <laughs> kind of a cornball. What's up with that hat? Looks like a puffy hat. Still early. The Doors frontman meets tragic demise in Paris. Flashback. What's that song? Flashback, baby. I oh, know that's Love Shack, huh? Different song. You're on your own. Flashback, baby. Flashback. There's a relic of Yadi Molina. He's sponsored by Air Jordan. It's kind of cool. Uh, Matthew Stubblefield has the Cardinals. Yeah, so fantasy baseball, I think weekly is the play. Yeah? Yeah. Right, feel it out. It's either that or daily, but I don't know. It's a tough one. Especially on the West Coast. You've never played on the West Coast. No. Yeah, that's probably goofy. Yeah. You know? you got to wake up and that's, you know, wave of wires, you know? Luka Modric in for the corner kick. All right, only seven boxes to go. Probably another forty minutes. Sander. Manny Sanders. The football player. All right, the original 1971 card coming at you. It is Floyd Wicker. Floyd Wicker. Qu Wicker? It's like that Daft Punk song. Harder, better, faster, Wicker. Wicker? I don't even know her. No. I don't know if that was. No. <laughs> no, there's one baseball player who you can do that with. I forget the name though. Never heard of Floyd Wicker? I, I can't say I have either, yeah. Say it loud, we'll get a little uh, peanut gallery action. Hey, Dad! Yeah. Floyd Wicker? Floyd Wicker? That's what you can say. Who? Floyd Wicker? Let me see Floyd Wicker, wow. 
<laughs> I'll throw it for the Brewers. <laughs> he just ran in front of the card. Wow. Wow. That's old. That's old school Brewers. That's 1971. That could be a Seattle Pilots uniform. Wow. Seattle you know what I'm Pilots. Saying? You got to check. The Seattle Pilots did play in 1970. 70, and, and they moved to Milwaukee. So you got to look and they wore turtlenecks. Yeah, I'm a they huge were nice, real wool turtleneck. I love the Seattle Pilots. I hate the Seattle Mariners. What? I'm an Angels fan. AL West, baby. Mariners are cheating. Mariners are cheating. Yeah. I like Griffey, man, but I don't know. Just such a bummer his career. How it ended up. If he didn't get hurt, he could have been possibly more home runs than Barry Bonds. If you think about it. Ooh, there's a red ink auto. 35 to 71. Oh. That is George Springer. <laughs> For the Astros. That's Kevin. John Gray did a break with him in 2015. A nice man. Wasn't very um, attentive. Not great, to be honest. But I still made it work, I think. Maybe he didn't take his Adderall that day? No, like his girlfriend was standing over and like she didn't want to be there. So it's just like kind of awkward the whole time. Chandler, Oklahoma. Apologies if he's watching this break. Chris if Paddock. The break, yeah. To 571. I forget the other guy who I did break with who was pretty cool. I forget his name now. You found an action? No, I said no action. Oh. Uh, this guy's on the Dodgers now? I didn't know that. Jerko? What'd you call him? Did Jerko? 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 Used to be on the Cardinals, right? He needs some facial hair. Why is that? Kenley Jansen, he lives right near us. By our shop. We gotta get him in the shop. Jack, you seen him at Starbucks one time. Oh, yeah? So, yeah. It's a frequenter. The Cano card's nice. Robinson. Robinson. Cano. Daniel Murphy. Donovan Solano. I haven't seen him. So small. <laughs> his body looks so small. His face looks so young. Zach Grinke. I forgot he's on the Astros. What's Augustus? Really, Tyler? Yeah. I uh, fill in every now and then, do the breaks that maybe Joe doesn't want to do, which I figured this is one. Wow, the equalizer. Love to be a soccer player. They're all good looking, to be honest. No, they got good like amazing hair. The hair, yeah, they got good hair. I, I don't know what they feed them, but they got amazing hair. So probably herbal essences. Hello, hydration formula. Nah, it's something crazy, man. It's something we don't have access to. Like, look at his hair right there. So thick. I like the uh, sports goggles that um, Julio Urias wears. Reminds me of the Eric Gagne Angel Days, which was kind of dark. Or the Eric Gagne 
Red Sox days? Red Sox days. Because they won the World Series the year he was a Red Sox, right? But he was a huge bust, right? Yeah, he didn't do Him much. and J.D. Drew were like the worst signings of all time. Well, J.D. <laughs> Drew had that J.D. Home Drew run was so bad. He had that big home run against the Indians, but, but he struck out against Tampa. Yeah, he that was, really was That was against David Price. Where was he was originally? New York? Mets? J.D. Drew? Yeah. Or did he went to the Mets after? Reds? Reds? No, J.D. Drew. Cardinals? Reds? I don't know. He's not still a thing, right? No, you know who went to the Mets after? Jason Bay. Jason Bay. Who That's had a right. monster year as a Red Sox. Right, right. I had him on my fantasy team that year. There's Nico Horner. J.D. Drew, where was he before the Red Sox? St. Louis. J.D. Drew? Huh. Here's an action, Nico Horner. So it is, uh... J.D. Drew was drafted by the Cardinals. So, Jed Jerko and J.D. Drew. They got all the guys. Wow. Tommy Dean, shortstop, Padres. Born in Luca, Mississippi. Luca Magnata. Luca Doncic. Luca. Um, what's another thing? My name is Luca. Luca, Luca Samanich. You never heard that song? That was a pretty big hit. No. My name is Luca. We haven't got one of these. These are, that's an awesome uh, great moments. Awesome looking thing. Yeah. Tom Dane. Why is it like? A, why is that picture not centered though? Shouldn't it be like? I know it's a little. They didn't have Photoshop in 1971. Uh, Teddy, come on. Jackie Bradley Jr. is kind of a baller, too. He's good in the field. Absolutely. No, he's, he's got pop, too. Yeah. I know. You got all the Cardinals trivia for us, uh, Augustus. I think the uh, Cardinals might be kind of sneaky. The Cincinnati Reds might be sort of sneaky. I never feel like the Cardinals are sneaky, though. I always feel like they're gonna be the last there. 20 years, they're like going to be... They're never at it. But when's the last time they made a... Uh, 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 well, they ran into the Red Sox a couple times, right? Yeah. With pool holes. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Were they in the NLCS last year? What's that? Were they in the NLCS oh. last year? Let's see those. Uh, they no. Uh, because the Cubs didn't make it, so the Brewers and Cardinals made it. I don't know. We had uh, a few Angels earlier, Randy. We had the Otani um, refractor, and we hit a Albert Pujols relic. There's not a ton of hits in here. You're mostly looking for short prints and stuff. That's the uh, bread and butter and heritage. And the base, too, you know. People collect the base. Kevin DeBorn. Let me show these fans. Oh, that's right. They beat the Braves last year. That was kind of an upset. People, people really liked the Braves last year, but then lost to the Nationals. Yeah, the Braves were so they not were in the, strong in the postseason. Yeah. yeah. Would you rather have Acuna, Tatis, or Vlad Jr.? On my team, if yeah. to win? Yeah. Probably Acuna, no? Yeah, I would imagine, right? 
I mean, Vlad, or maybe Tutsis. Vlad Trey Turner gets really good hugs, but to nine ninety nine. I think Vlad's gonna be good this year. I think he's gonna be better than he was last year. I think the Blue Jays. I mean, they have Bo Bichette. They just don't have a ton of pitching, but they did get Kenta Maeda from the Dodgers. Good pickup. I think somebody's gonna have to like follow Vladimir Guerrero Jr. around and see what he's eating though. Like make sure he gets like roughage. I think he's just like kind of like a Zion Williamson where he's just like always gonna be that big. But he's like big, but he's like buff, you know? I think he's just built like that. Like he's like Zion. My cousin called me oh, God. two days ago. And he said, Zeon is in town against the Lakers. I'm going to try to get his tickets. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Zeon. I don't think I'm going to call him Zion anymore. Yeah, I mean, it could be Zion or, yeah, I guess it could be like Eddie Lacy or Trent Richardson. What about Eddie Lacy? Yeah, well, he's the dark side of being, like, big. Oh, and Lacy. Bad. Yeah, Eddie Lacy. And the problem was Eddie Lacy, Lacy wore, like, glasses too, right? And his glasses were, like, little monocles. They were really small. They made him look even heavier. Patrick Corbin, Nationals. That's Mark. I know he had probably had a great run at Alabama. That's pretty funny. Willie Wonka. Did you know what that was when you passed it? You knew what that was, right? I've seen Willie Wonka many times, and not the Johnny Depp one. I hate that one. Yeah. Stinks. Although the original Willie Wonka always makes me kind of sad. Why? It's supposed to. Like the. Like the grandparents just laying in bed all day and just like poor people. Yeah, but then they got the golden ticket as a family. Yeah. I know, but then it's like Willy Wonka's evil. No. Uh, He's killing kids, basically. The other guy that he sends out is evil to try to get the formula. Yeah. I know, Johnny Depp has some bombs, man. Mordecai, that movie was terrible. He's had a few weird movies recently. Really weird. That rum diary. Like, look at him. Come on. I think he's dating Shakira. And then look at Garrett Bale. You know their names? Yeah. I had break a lot of soccer a few years ago. Ooh, that's a red card. Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus. That's cool. Iconic show comes to a close. The Ed Sullivan last episode. You an Ed Sullivan show fan? No, I don't know too much about Ed Sullivan. Like, look at her. I don't even know where Have you been looking at the backs, too? Or no? No. Oh, yeah. I've been giving them to you to look at. Yeah, I haven't seen any actions. I think this one is, I think that Yelich is right there. The Yelich? Yeah, I'll let you do the honors. Is the excitement of it? Yeah. Action! Yes! Uh. Action! Brewers, Daniel, killing it, man. A lot of Brewers. Brew crew. Sausages. Danny, Danny Jansen. What do we got here? What do we have here? Wow. It is Brooks Robinson. Nice. Ties a Ruth record. What record did he tie? Brooks had four hits and a walk to reach base five straight times in a World Series Dang. game. The human vacuum cleaner. Hoover. <laughs> Yo, Dyson. Did they have Dyson back then? Nah, maybe. Yeah, we saw Angels versus Rockies. Got to see some Joe Adele. That was cool. I want to go out to Arizona for like a week next year and hit up multiple games. 
just like life itself moves slower at spring training. Yeah. Just time freezes. Mm. That's nice. You know, there's kids getting autographs, you know. People got picnic baskets with them. Yeah. You know, the weather is pretty nice. Rum Diary, I heard, was a sequel to Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Yeah, I don't even know if I tried to watch Rum Diary. And then there was one where he was a college professor, where he has, like, cancer, and then all kinds of debauchery ensues. That was another strange movie that didn't do... I don't think he's going to do good in movies anymore. Like, really? none of his movies are going to, like, be big or make money. He was in that, uh, that last one that was big, but he wasn't the star, you know? He was in some, some movie. It's weird to see Joe Torre as a player. Look at this guy, Will Smith. Joe Torre's in there? Yeah. Will Smith looks like 12 years old. There. He looks like he's got one of those nacho uh, bucket hats on, where you get the nachos at the stadium, like the helmets, and you just put it on. Yeah. Or I can actually. definitely see him like eating a Lunchable very carefully, you know, with like a little stick. Yeah. Portioning it out. Yeah, the Angels open up in Houston. They'll be the first ones to play the Astros. So I'm sure. I don't know what's going to happen. And then uh, the Astros' first away game, I think, is in Anaheim. So not the rowdiest crowd in Anaheim. A lot of families, though. So I don't know if they'll be... A lot of booing compared to like what Dodger Stadium would be or or the Yankees. You think they're gonna get pegged a lot? I don't think so. You don't think they should? I think they I mean, I don't know. I think they should oh get Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a little silly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> players are mad, I guess. You know, we're just fans. So, yeah. so the players can be mad. They have a right to be mad, I guess. Yeah. You know, it's. Ross Tripling, he's kind of. I don't He's on my enemy list. Joe Panic, Hopewell Junction, represent. Chris's Pizza at Hopewell Junction. Is that near. Uh, where's that at? Hopewell Junction. Junction is Dutchess County. Oh, yeah. Okay. I've been there. Jeff McNeil Relic. It's near uh, Renegades, kind of, right? Yeah. It's like uh, between Fishkill and, like, uh, almost near like Pauling. Pauling. I've played that before. Um, we got four boxes left. No, not after Pauling. This. Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie. I'm sorry. Poughkeepsie. After this, we got four boxes, and then we have uh, Pick Your Team 2 coming up, which... Um, maybe Joe will help. I'll be here soon. Love is strong. Brian, he's a cool guy. He's got like kind of a mohawk, sort of like Mike Trout. So that was kind of cool. He was nice. He was at the axe throwing event. Didn't throw any axes, but I did hit a bullseye. Not a big deal. Man, this guy's got a great mustache. Tony Walters. Some serious fur. Asklin Frazier have a card. Didn't he get like released like two thirds into the season? Not released, uh, but like he got demoted. demoted. Yeah. I think he's supposed to be in the in the majors this year. There's Kevin Pillar. That one's numbered to nine hundred and ninety nine. Red Sox now. Pillar. Yeah. Dan Fran and this great outfielder. 
They're gonna be all right. They just uh, their bullpen is goofy. Yeah. Their bullpen is not good. Ronaldo. A cultural arbiter arrives on CBS. That is all in the family. Got a little ponytail going when Aldo does. I don't know how I feel about that. Just time to Stella had a great season with the Angels last year. Former Cub. Uh, we have another Heritage after this, and then Panini won, Picker Team won. It's coming up probably about an hour and a half, around 3.30 p.m. Pacific. And this is Bob Gibson, one of the gra uh, game's greatest moments. Gibby Garner's 200th win. Gibby. Cultural arbiter. <laughs> yeah, I had trouble pronouncing that word. Never seen it. But then once I said the first word, cultural, I had to say the second because then people would realize he doesn't know what that word means. Mm. Fake it till you make it. What kind of jacket is that? This is a uh, Oregon State Beavers. <laughs> I think it's Oregon, not Oregon. Oh, is it Oregon? Yeah. Yeah, it's Oregon. You say Nevada or Nevada? Nevada. Yeah, I say that too, but a lot of people say Nevada. I'm going to open all the packs first since Teddy's looking for the short prints. Um, try to speed up this one. Action. Clayton Kershaw. Nice. There's a Kersh action. Dodgers. That's going out to Richard Z. Uh, no Panini 1. Coming up probably about an hour and a half. The first Panini 1. Encarnacion should have a good season. Why? What makes you feel? I don't know, man. You got Judge there still. You got Stanton. And he's going to have a full season with the I feel like Encarnacion is not what he was four or five years ago. Yeah, but you're a... Uh, no, it's not just because I'm a... You like Luke Voigt? He's a little husky. <laughs> he probably doesn't look bad with his top off, but he looks husky with the uniform on. He's got the chain on, though. He's like... He, just he got hot. Wearing. He was hot early, but... There's a Bryce Harper action. Of course, it's going out to off. the Phillies. And that is Paul Hutchins. Uh, no, the only new baseball today was Heritage, and it's sold out. We don't have any more. Daredevil Legend cements his legacy. Nice. That must be Evil Knievel. Only Daredevil I know. Maybe Rob Deirdre. Great show, Robin Big. Um, yeah, Big died, huh? Yeah, he's rest in peace, man. JD Davis, that's number seventy-one, white chrome for the Mets. It's a cool shot. Tuki Toussaint, great name, Tuki. Wellington Castillo drafted him at two and six. There's Eric Fed. So 
when are you thinking for the uh, the draft? I think it's sun uh, Sunday or Saturday. Before the uh, maybe like um, uh, last week in March. Yeah, maybe like the twentieth around there. I think that's what I'm going to SF. The twentieth. Twenty. Well, twenty first is a Saturday. I have tickets to go see some bands in Garden Grove. Yeah. And I was thinking of taking. I mean, Tuesday. I haven't said it yet. No one's even joined yet. So. Yeah. So maybe the weekend after, like the twenty. Yeah. Uh, it's about a hundred dollars a box. Justin. That was crazy though. Tops put Justin Bieber on a card. And they said it was an error. Like on the back of Shane Bieber's card last year, it said Justin Bieber. Yeah. And they said it was not intentional. So, it's kind of Don't they like double check this stuff though before it prints? I would imagine. Or, like, you know, so. I don't know. I'm not There's familiar. Kyle Schwarber, one of my favorite players, Schwarbo. Cubs, that is Max. Yeah, maybe they have a kindergarten card in here, 1971. What's that? Oh, uh, Chestnut says, I started kindergarten in 1971. Maybe they made a card. <laughs> His hat is is puffy too. His Who's hat. A, yeah, that's a big cap. It's t it's tall. We're selling these heritage boxes in our store for ninety four ninety nine, and I think there'll be a little more on. Uh, there's Mike Fires, the the whistleblower, on um, on our Instagram. Yeah, we're doing a top bottom random on all of the uh, all of the duels and then a left to right um, randomizer for all of them. All of the left right cards and then we have a non sport randomizer at the end. There's Tommy Davis, Cubs. Uh, Panini 1 will probably be in about an hour and a half, around 3.30 Pacific, give or take. On the Red Sox? On the Red Sox? No. But there was there was a card, right? You passed them just now? No, it's Patrick Sandoval. Pablo went back to the Giants, I think. 
Now that I remember. Pedro. No, Pablo Sandoval went oh, back yeah. to this San Fran. Fran. There's a Pedro Sandoval? No, there is. You just invented him? Sword, all card ship. All card ship? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Albert Pujols. <clears throat> you There's a relic George Springer. Wow. Astros, Kevin Smith. Had the auto earlier. Rough neck order. You should be sponsored by like Lysol or something. No, like Axe body spray. <laughs> Got a rough neck. <clears throat> Got odor. Whoa, look at that. Intel changes the feature. Ooh, a little chip. Is that like a it looks little? like a. I thought it was like a orange creamsicle bar for a minute. What were those little like uh, Tamagotchi? Not Tamagotchi. Oh, little, little furry little bits that like move. Yeah. yeah. Right. You get them and they. I liked Tamagotchis. All randomized right there, left and right, the then and nows. Feeling action coming on. Josh Naylor. Naylor. And the box topper. They said that his kids are getting like death threats. <laughs> Not death threats, like in school, they're getting teased and stuff. And meanwhile, apparently, 
he had nothing to do with it. But I mean, I guess anybody could say that. Well, I mean, I don't know why I'm yeah. talking about it. I want, yeah. I want it to go away just as bad. Consistent as power threat, Anthony Rizzo. It's terrible. Why would they pick on kids? I guess it. So, how's her? Not bad. Tough with the serpents? No, they have them on the back. Okay. Like they, they say what token it is. Okay. Because that was I seen you say that you had to do it pack by pack. Oh yeah, I well now that I got Teddy here, yeah. I'm going pack stack. Oh, okay, cool. So we'll probably pack stack the next one. Yeah, I mean the short prints are really easy because they just say what it is on red, red and big text. Action, Chris Bryant. Action, Chris Bryant. You felt an action coming on. The action delivered. Chris Bryant, Chicago Cubs. Third baseman. That is Max with the Chi Town Cubs. See, I feel like Nelson Cruz is still. What did you mention? We just talked about before. Uh... <coughs> The Yankee who used to be, oh, uh, Edwin Encarnacion. Yeah. He's kind of gone. Nelly Cruz? But Nelly Cruz is still. Yeah. What's wrong? Right? They're probably right, like around the same age, no? I think I'd rather have Encarnacion this year. Why? I just like the name Edwin. Yeah, I like Nelson. It's those majestic bombs. Nothing crazy, Sean. What's up? Um, a lot of nice short prints. We had an OPG um, French Tech short print for the Mets. We had Red Ink Auto of George Springer. Um, Astros. Stuff. Yeah, a lot of Astros in this one. Do we have some for Silva this in the sports team? Yeah, we do. boxes to go. Then we got Pick Your Team 2. And then it's probably Panini 1 the rest of the whole night. One card per box. So that's a lot uh, more jam-packed, action-packed break. But hopefully we didn't put you to sleep. Or I didn't. Eric Taines, he, look, he just posted something. He is crazy jacked. He looks like Hulk photo. I like Williams as studio. I like him. He represents the chunky people well. Chunkified. Chunkified. <laughs> Got scared. Scared you? A little bit. Sorry. So felt like you were so close. Mike Clevenger. The 999. Clever Girl. You know what that's from? Cover Girl. That commercial? No, Clever Girl is uh, Jurassic Park, right? Yeah, I've seen the movie. I am familiar with this movie. Chris Pratt's in it. Um, the girl from Zero Dark Thirty. There's Mitch Hanniger. Relic. For the... Seattle Mariners. That is going out to Gabe Plunker. We got a backwards pa uh, Pedro Baez. Not sure what that's about. Native Aldi. He was kind of a bust for the Red Sox. Well, he was electric in the postseason in that year they won it. Yeah. But he was hurt the next year. And I think he's like their number three guy. This they got to get another starter. Fletcher man, he's a beast. Dave Fletcher. So we already hit the hit in this one, so probably not going to be an auto, but we'll look for short prints here. Uh, it's one autograph or relic per box. And we've hit two autos, three autos. We hit. Um, 
Ice Cream Scoop Devers, Raphael Devers. We had George Springer. And that might be it for autos, actually. I'm not sure if there's a guarantee yet. To be honest, but. Trent Grisham with that hair, wow. Pearls, little pearls. Eloy Jimenez. White Sox. Alejandro. Last box. Heritage Baseball Picker Team 2 is up next. And then we have Panini 1 Football Picker Team 1 after that. So that'll probably be coming up right around 3.30 p.m. Pacific, about an hour 20 minutes, hour 15 minutes. Yeah, we have uh, Dynasty Baseball on the website. I think that, that'll probably fill today. I think it's like 15 left. Uh, he should be, Tyler. I don't, not sure, to be honest. Should be here. Al Quantrill, is that Paul Quantrill's son? It was a Red Sox pitcher, Paul Quantrill. Lindor is overrated, Sean. Francisco Lindor, shortstop, Cleveland Indians, age 26. I don't know if that's This guy. And it's an action short print of Lindor. Speaking of Lindor. Sorry. I you just talk I just smack did. about that guy, and the Lord gave you uh, an action uh, short print. No, because like that one year they were saying Jose Ramirez should win the MVP over Mike Trout. I was like, give me a break. So then I just, the whole team I just disliked. Yeah, 
chair pad on this one with one of those bleacher pads. Let so me get one of those Super Bowl pads for you. Yeah. The Super Bowl pads. Did he buy those? Somewhere? I don't know. And those you hadn't seen those until last week. No. So Larry hit 48 home runs last year? Yeah, he led the AL in home runs. Is, that guy, is he like a first or second round pick? No, I mean, he was a pretty good he's prospect with lot. the Cubs, and he was in the World Series team. So he's been around for a little bit, but and he was a pretty big prospect, but they traded him. Let's see, like 27. There's a Tom Tyschinski Tis auto for the Minnesota Twins. Yeah. Twins. Minnesota Twins, that is Timothy. Tom Tischinski. I feel like I'm seeing guys in these packs I haven't seen yet. What's that? I'm seeing cards here that I haven't seen so far. That's cool. Players that I haven't seen. I like that. Does that mean there's something special coming up? I'm not sure. Might just be your eyeballs. Hanser Alberto. His mom says he's Hanser. So is it my mom's little Hanser, right? No. Yeah. Oh, nice. Thank you, William. All right. The last pack here is the baseball greatest moments, and then we'll do the randomizers, and then we're on to the next bigger team. It is Ronald Acuna Jr. Ronald sets new standard. Sick. So that is the break. Um, we got a few randomizers to do. So for these, we'll go one, two, three, four. Um, and we'll do them for all of the pitching leaders, all the four card boxes. We have the three card boxes, one, two, three. And then the Jordan Alvarez Aquino will go top bottom. And then there is some that have left right, so we'll go left right, which are, it'll be this way. The stack too and left here, directions. right here, yeah. I'm still Joe rolling. working today? Nick? I, I think so. idea. All right, let's do the randomizer here. Yeah, we do. We upload it as soon as it um, finishes. So obviously these might be um, a little longer since this video was an hour and 34 minutes. No other short prints or are you still going through? No, no, no more. Okay. All right, so let's roll the dice. We're going six times. So the first one is the left and right. So the horizontal, left card, right card. One, two, three, four, Five and six. Let's go on the left side there. The next one is for the top card, bottom cards. So the example I had was Alvarez Aquino. Alvarez on top, Aquino on bottom. And this will be for all of them. Two, three, four, five, and six. Goes to the bottom, Aquino, and all the other teams on the bottom. Next one is one, two, three. RBI leaders was the example. One, two, three, four, five, six. Goes to the top box there. And then the next one is the pitching leaders as the example. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
four, five, and six. Um, all these, yeah. That goes to the top box as well. So there you go. Thanks, everybody. That was Heritage Baseball PYT 1.